Hey everybody, Steve here and welcome to the eighth video in my How to Build a Drone for the Absolute Beginner series. This is video eight. We've covered a lot of ground from videos one through seven and it would probably take five to ten minutes to recap everything. So please look in the description for a detailed list of all of the videos so far and a link to the playlist where you can catch all of them. So in a nutshell, we've got our frames built. We've got everything on the quad with the exception of the FPV stuff. We've done a heck of a lot of programming to the flight controller and we made sure that our motors are on the right arms and spinning the right way. And we've calibrated our ESCs, but we've got a couple more steps that we want to take. One of which is changing the firmware on our ESCs. And speaking of ESCs, how many of you remember this guy right here? Yeah, or this guy right here, or this guy right here. Well, and then we got to this guy right here. Well, Making changes to your ESCs have come a long way in the last three or four years, and we are going to not have to worry about any of that because we've got BL Heli. All right, so I did a Google search for BL Heli Suite, and uh, I'd really like to get it from the GitHub, so I'm going to click on this one right here, and here is the bit dump for BL Heli, and somewhere down here it'll have a link to download the software. Here we go this website right here. All right, so they've got downloads for Linux, Linux, Mac. Here's BL Heli 32. I'm gonna grab this one right here. All right, so I'm gonna grab the first one. It's a zip file. And I'm gonna go ahead and click this download right here. Okay, so now that it's downloaded, I'm gonna go to my downloads folder and I'm gonna right click on it and extract all. And then I'm gonna go into the folder that it created for me. And right here, BL Heli Suite, I'm gonna click on this. Windows is gonna be nice and say, I'm worried for you, I'm worried for you, but let's go ahead and run anyway. And boom, here we are. All right, so I got Betaflight open, I got BL Heli open. All right, we're gonna use BL Heli in its easiest way possible. Uh, assuming that your ESCs are plugged into your flight controller and you have the ability to plug into that flight controller via the USB and you have the ability to send power to the ESBs via a battery, then we're in good shape. This is going to be so easy we don't even have to take anything apart on our quad. First thing that we're going to do is take our USB and we're going to plug it into our flight controller. And we're going to get our usual little blinky lights, the blue one and the red blinking one. Then we're going to come up to Betaflight and we're going to connect to Betaflight. So all we have to do is connect to Betaflight and now we're gonna disconnect from Betaflight. But don't close Betaflight, leave it open. So pull up BL Heli, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here and you're gonna select Clean Flight as a pass-through. So essentially we're using, well, Clean Flight, Betaflight. We're gonna check this Option E, you can also use option, whatever that is, six, option six. You can also use option six, but we're gonna go ahead and use option E here. Remember, you can't be in beta flight right now because you have to leave the COM port open for BL Heli. So I'm gonna come down here and notice up here in beta flight, it was using COM three. So I'm gonna come down here into BL Heli and I'm gonna select that same COM and I'm gonna go ahead and connect. Okay, so now is when the exciting part happens. All right, we're gonna take our battery and I'm trying to do this through the camera. You'll note the tone that the ESC's made. All right, so now I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna hit read setup. And boom, there it is. All of the ESC's. Now, these ESC's actually have the latest firmware on them because I did a test trial through this so that I wouldn't be fumbling through it when I was doing it live for the purposes of the video. But I'm gonna go ahead and ignore that. I'm just gonna say, okay. So the other thing that you can do is you can go into ESC overview and basically you can see all the different parameters on your ESC's and highlighted in blue are parameters where essentially the numbers are different. So this one's set at 10, 16 and 20. 12, 10, 16, 20, 12, and there's a variance here. All right, so one of, the, one of the most beneficial things that we can do with BL Heli is we're gonna come down here and we can flash these ESCs. So what it has done is it has recognized the ESCs that we have, and that's what you're going to want to flash to. 
there's a drop down menu and that's what you're going to want to flash to and then multi for multi rotor and then latest version available so we'll go ahead and we'll select this and we'll say okay and it's going to give us a warning and select yes and it says flash successfully and let's write the current settings so now we're targeting ESC2 and there they are so we can select OK and then one of the other things we can do an ESC overview and look at all the numbers and because of the manual nature of the way the flash occurred it set them to 1016 in 2008 but another thing that we can do is we can click on the motors tab make absolutely positively 100% sure that you do not have your props on your quad at this time and I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna click this button and I'm gonna hit calibrate ESCs and it wants to calibrate from 1000 to 2000 so I'm gonna say okay for all four and it wants me to power off so I'm gonna pull the battery and I'm gonna click okay and now I'm gonna power on and click OK. Now it's doing an ESC calibration. It's done. So we're going to unplug. Uh, we're going to unplug the ESCs from the battery. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to plug it back in. So and then do read setup. And now, now we can do ESC overview. So now we have some variances because it actually did an ESC calibration based on the min and max throttle. So these numbers right here are representative of the actual ESC calibration on the min and max throttles. Whereas before it was just based on the numbers that were, before it was just based on the numbers that were here. So I'm just going to leave it the way it is now. Now I am not going to pretend for a second that I understand everything that's going on here in this software. Basically what I wanted to do here in this video is I wanted to introduce you to the fact that BL Heli exists and to basically get you to be able to do just a basic firmware update and show you that you can calibrate your ESCs here just like you can calibrate your ESCs in Betaflight. For those of you who remember earlier when I said that if you had wired your ESCs wrong to your motors and your motors were spinning the wrong way, that there was an easy way to fix that, this is that fix right here, the motor direction, so section one. So say for example, all of our motors were right except for maybe the first one. So what I would do is I would left click on it to select it, and then I would come up to normal, and I would change it to reversed, and then I would write the setup and it says it wrote okay, and then I can go into the ESC overview, and you can see where number one was reversed. So I definitely want to reverse that now before I forget. I'm gonna reverse that again before I forget, and write setup, and then I can go into US ESC overview, and I can double check the fact. So down here, if you left click, you can select them, and then if you right click one of them, you can select only. All right, so do you remember earlier when I was picking on the old pieces of hardware methodology for flashing ESCs? Well, um, the reality is, is that not every ESC is flashable through the pass-through. Sometimes we got to just suck it up and, and, and go back and do it the hard way. So check this out. I got a Arduino Nano uh, 328. So that's the selection that I'm going to make on the screen right here. And then I'm going to come down here for the Arduino four-way interface. And I'm going to go ahead and select it. And it says OK. And i got to pick one. I'm going to pick Multi. And then I'm going to select Open. And now we're going to flash the Nano. So put this right here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and say Yes. And the screen's doing its thing. And the Nano's getting flashed. All right, and it says OK. So here. All right, so I'm going to come down here and I'm going to select this four-way one and click on it. 
and now I'm going to go back to the ESC setup. All right, so I've given my ESC some power, and the way I've plugged it in, I've got my Nano here. All right, so as far as the Nano is concerned, I found uh, pin D3 and the pin 2 to the right of it, which is ground. If I flip this up, you'll be able to see that better, D3 and ground. And I've got basically a signal wire and a ground wire only, no hot wire at all. And now you got to make sure you get your... Uh, Get your polarity correct. Brown is on top, so I want black on top. I got brown on top, and I got black on top. I got white on the bottom, and I got so I got my signals to the bottom and my grounds to the top. All right, my Arduino is plugged in, and now I've got a battery. Hit the ESC with power, like so. And now we'll come back to the screen, and I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I got the right COM, and I'm gonna hit connect. All right, read setup. Found a single ESC and boom, check it out. So this ESC was an ESC that could not be found at all using the other interface. So I can go to OK. And now I can flash it and say OK. Read successfully, so let's go ahead and flash it with BL Heli. And we're going to flash it. OK. Moving right along. Right to the SE. And boom. So, I'm, so now I could go and I could look at the ESC overview. So in short, that was an ESC that I could not, for the life of me, get flashed through beta flight pass through and I was able to do it with the hardware. All right, so should we push our luck and see if we can get a third one to work? Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and grab this guy right here. Make sure that your polarity is correct because it won't work if your polarity is not correct. All right. So, with this one, the correct settings are going to be that one. So, I'm going to go ahead and there's your ESC. And read setup. ESC set up and read successfully. All right, so we found a third way to do this. So we have found two ways to flash ESC flashed, all right. All right, so I think we have seen how absolutely convenient BL Heli is, whether we're using the Betaflight pass-through, nice and easy, or whether you're using one of these older flash tools, BL Heli seemed to do the job just perfectly, as long as we found the correct interface. All right, so that's gonna wrap things up for now. I hope that you found this video helpful. I hope that you can see, I hope you see the value of using BL Heli. And one other thought for you is if you're using much newer ESCs uh, and, and BL Heli Suite doesn't work for you, make sure to download uh, BL Heli 32 and try to use that one as well. Download procedure is exactly the same. All right, so that is going to do it for this video. In the next video, we're going to get back into beta flight and we are going to set up our flight modes and our arm switch. And we'll do one more once over of the quad. And then at that point, we will be ready to go out and fly. So please comment, like, stick around, subscribe, hit the little bell so you know when the new videos are coming out. Check out all the other videos in this series if you're brand new to the hobby. It really is a pain in the ass to figure some of this stuff out. But once you do, it's a, it's a very, very rewarding hobby. That's it. I'm getting out of here. I hope you have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video.